Hi, this is Sadhu Bhartia. We are here at KubeCon and CloudedCon in Barcelona, Spain. And today we have with us Justin Graham. You are a VP of Product at Docker. So this yes. is our first meeting. So welcome to the show. Great to meet you. Happy to be here. Yeah, and you're new to uh, Docker. I, I, I'm actually older, the, the covering Docker. But you have been working with Docker, you said, for much longer. Yes, than... yes. I, I'm, I arrived at Docker from AW uh, a few years at AWS, uh, working in the container space yeah. uh, as well. So, uh, were you at the DockerCon? Uh, I was at DockerCon. Uh, I've been actually at the past three DockerCons. No, I mean, you're at the DockerCon as a Docker employee. Yes, I was. So that yes. was your first, right? Yes, this was my this just past DockerCon was my first as a Docker employee. The previous two were as a partner. So as a as as a Docker employee, what was the most exciting exciting announcement that came out of DockerCon? Uh, I'd say easily two. Uh, mm -hmm. The first was Docker Enterprise 3.0. Uh, which really is solidifying uh, our our approach and our product strategy to helping customers and large enterprises make this shift to modern applications and cloud native uh, uh, methods of building, deploying, et cetera. Uh, and then second, right behind that uh, is our partnership with Arm, um, which I think is going to be really powerful for developers uh, being able to use uh, Docker Desktop uh, to deploy or sort of build on on Arm, even if you're using an x86 system. Um, and then using templates and other things that we've announced that's part of that, uh, deploying to places like AWS using A1 instances, uh, as an example, is going to be really powerful for developers. So let's start with Docker you know, 3.0. What, what, what's new? What, what is the evolution? You have been a Docker user also for a very long time. Yes. So what is new there from the point of view of users? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll start with, uh, with the, the desktop because in, in how we think about uh, developers and helping customers, we think about it in, in terms of building, sharing, and then running and deploying. Um, so on the build side, uh, part of Docker Enterprise is uh, Docker Desktop Enterprise, um, which includes a lot of uh, manageability features, uh, policy features, and things um, like Docker application, Docker pipelines that really help customers um, and developers uh, makes it easier for them to get their applications off uh, from their laptops integrated with their IDEs um, and tested and deployed into production environments. Um, paired with um, on, our, um, on our engine and platform side, uh, we announced Docker Kubernetes service. Um, and together, those two things work to do things like match versioning between uh, Kubernetes that's deployed as part of Docker Desktop Enterprise locally and your production Kubernetes environment. Uh, so you want, if you want to make sure, you're in, for instance, that you're testing against doc, uh, Kubernetes 1.14, um, we can help you make sure that your environments through Docker um, Enterprise Platform and Docker Desktop Enterprise are synced together um, for, versus not being so, doing so. Tell us a bit more about the the Docker Enterprise as a service. You know, you mentioned with Kubernetes. Yeah, so that's a that's actually an, uh, another part of the the Docker Enterprise announcement uh, as well. Um, so obviously, many of our customers uh, use Docker uh, Enterprise both on premise and in the cloud, but operate it themselves. Um, can you know build it, configure it, operate it themselves. Um, but if you want uh, more of a sort of hands off, higher abstraction. Um, higher opinion um, experience with Docker Enterprise. Um, you can uh, now have Docker Enterprise as a service um, through uh, certain um, global service uh, solutions integrators um, that will um, operate your Docker platform on your behalf so that you just have to worry about building and deploying your applications and not operating uh, um, everything behind it. So was it created uh Responding to consumer or customer needs, or it was created to to solve Docker's own problems. Yeah, no, we uh, we we it, it, good question. You know, we we always work backwards from our customers mm -hmm. uh, at Docker. So everything that we do uh, is in service to um, to our customers who are pushing us forward and pushing us into uh, places where they need to fill gaps. So um, this was in direct response to uh, to enterprise customer needs that we. Uh, that we discovered. Excellent. Uh, now let's just just go a bit deeper into the partnership with ARM, uh, because if you look at ARM, mm -hmm. um, where do you see ARM? I mean, ARM is growing. You know, AWS they also have or they're offering. Where do you see ARM in you know in the enterprise space today? Yeah. So the, I, I think in a few places. Um, uh, one, um, I, I believe that more ARM development is going to continue to happen. 
as customers look to reduce their um, their infrastructure and operating costs. Um, so obviously, um, ARM uh, ARM hardware is uh, is more efficient to run and, and less costly to run. Uh, and then I think two. Um, you're going to start to see, and maybe you're already seeing a lot of uh, ARM development um, on the edge, um, where uh, space may be limited, power may be limited, connectivity may be limited. So, um, you know, making the best use of every uh, every micron of silicon um, in the space that you know at the edge could be uh, is going to be very useful. And I think that you're going to start to see a lot of development happening in service of those use cases. Um, and uh, Docker Desktop Enterprise paired with ARM. Um, is going to make that really easy for developers. So, so those were the announcements that you made at your own event, right? That's correct. Now you are here at KubeCon. Anything new that you announced here? Absolutely. So, uh, so we did make an announcement in, uh, with our partner, uh, Tigera, um, that Tigera's Calico uh, CNI is uh, batteries included uh, out of the box with Docker Enterprise Platform. Um, so as a customer, you now have that choice um, for your networking stack uh, when using Docker Enterprise. And then if you want an even more robust experience for that networking stack from Tigera, um, you can actually upgrade the stack within Docker Enterprise, the Tigera stack within Docker Enterprise to Tigera Enterprise um, to get even more um, feature functionality out of your networking stack with Docker Enterprise. You're here at KubeCon. What has been your experience so far? The energy and the buzz is, is just incredible uh, and, and palpable. Uh, and the groundswell of open source community uh, community support and um, and sharing has been uh, has been great. Um, you know, we continue to see a lot of uh, a lot of folks really excited about what Docker uh, what Docker is up to, um, and we're really excited about um, work that's happening in a number of projects, namely Container D, um, that we continue to to push forward. Um, and I think what what I've seen that sort of differs from previous KubeCons is just the increasing number of both large customers um, that are sending uh, their developers and operators here, as well as um, large uh, vendors uh, becoming increasingly more involved um, in uh, in what's happening here. Perfect. I think now we got everything right. We do. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Justin. This is our first meeting, but I'm pretty sure that we'll be seeing each other a lot, and I'm looking forward to talking to you again. Absolutely. Let's do it again in San Diego.